Oh, I know what you're thinking. Here it is. It's already past Christmas by an entire day, and Patrick is still wearing a, a festive shirt. Well, that's really the point. That's the thing I want to talk about today. There are, as I've named them before, drama llamas and joy toilets in our world that as soon as they see any joy, they want to flush it away or they want to throw a bunch of burdens on it and circle you and bring you down somehow. Don't let them do that. There will be people, and they're all over Facebook already this morning, I'm, I'm sure, that'll be saying, your tree has to come down by the first of the year. The tree has to come down by this. The tree has to, and get those lights down, and now we need to stop the Christmas music. Only God is God. Only Jesus is our King. There's nothing wrong with celebrating a bit longer. There's nothing wrong with pretty lights. Nothing wrong with keeping the tree up, unless it's a real tree, in which case it's gonna become a naked tree pretty soon, and perhaps a fire hazard. So there, watch yourself. But otherwise, don't let the world, and even well-intentioned family members and well-intentioned Christian people, take away your joy. I think it would be better for us to spend more time talking about Advent, not just leading up to December 25th, but through the year. For God is with us always, and therefore, in many ways, every day is Advent. I think we should keep telling the stories. I think we should keep looking at the carols uh, to see the theology in there, or listening to them because they bring us comfort. It doesn't matter what time of year that might be. They're good songs. Now, here I'm talking about carols. There are some secular Christmas songs that I'm gonna go, I'm really glad to see the back of them. But I won't name them, and you know why? Because I'm not a joy toilet. And if you like them, I'm not gonna tell you that you can't. Enjoy. Also this, you don't have to clean up everything immediately after family is gone and Christmas is over. You don't have to have a sparkling house. You don't have to have all the trash packed away exactly and the bows preserved if you're one of those people. Uh, and, and many of my relatives are. I think we're still using the same scotch tape from 1988, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong there. The point is this. Do not put burdens on yourself that you don't have to. No matter if the people around you say, oh, you have to. No. If you're in an HOA, play by the rules. But inside your house, take your time. Do some self-care. Take some time to read, some time to listen to music, some time to think and pray, some time just to relax with a cup of tea or whatever your beverage of choice is. And don't let the world rush you. It likes doing that. And it will always throw rules at you, no matter what time of the year it is. And if you were to do everything the world wants you to right now, and whatever it is, because it's, it's very competing and conflicting uh, information, isn't it? But if you were to choose one of these threads and you were to decide, all right, right, I've got to get the tree down by the first or the 10th or whatever it is, um, does that mean they're going to like you and ease up on you the rest of the year? No. They'll tell you, you have to do this now, and you have to do that now. Here's the thing. They don't get to. Not anymore. Because Jesus came. And Jesus is our Lord. And Jesus is God. And the people on Facebook aren't. Even when they sometimes forget that they're not. Oh, if you want strong opinions, they're very cheap. You can get a lot of them very quickly. But this isn't a strong opinion. This is just, why don't you do you and enjoy Jesus and enjoy the stories and the lights and the trees. Enjoy whatever memories you've got. Spend an afternoon or so going through the pictures on your phone. And if you had a horrible Christmas, if things just went awful and there was sickness or there was death or you were alone, well, this is the time then to say, all right, 
what can I do to make myself happier? Uh, you might want to join up with us at our safe harbor and become more active part of our community with videos and calls. And when I do my welcome home jaunts out to visit members, make sure that you're on that list. Um, and by the way, that list goes all over the country and to Canada and eventually it'll go to Mexico. So get on the list. Or if you just want to be left alone, I'll be quiet now. God bless. Cheers.